So to create a contact us page, we're first going to have to add a page to our site. So come to your Shopify dashboard. Then what you wanna do is come down to online store, click on this, it will give you these options and come to the pages tab right here and it's gonna open this up. Now I've already added an about us page to my site. I've called it our story, but it's the same thing but I want to add another page on here right now. So I can scroll up, go to the top right hand side and click add page. What you'll have to do then is create a title for the page. So you can name it contact us or you can name it get in touch or something like that. That will just show up at the top of the page. And then this content right here, you actually don't have to add anything at all, but you can add some maybe uh, contact times or different options the form below. And the reason I'm saying use the form below is because this is how it works on Shopify. So first you have the title of the page which is displayed up there. Then the next thing down is this section and if you've written something there, that will show up. But then what you can do is actually come down to this section right here, template. And we wanna change this to page.contact. What that is gonna do is insert a contact form onto the page. So you've all seen it when you go onto a contact page and there's basically uh, some forms there. People can put their query and then write their description and, and what they actually want to contact you about in that form. Well, this form is now going to be displayed on our page because we're using this template. This will then use the Shopify platform to forward their query over to the email address that you are using with Shopify. Let's finish the contact us page and I'll show you how to set up an email address with Shopify in a second if you don't know how to do that. But down here, we can edit how the website is displayed in Google and other search engines. So contact us may be a great description for the page in your site, but you may wanna make it a little bit more obvious on Google. If my site is called Coffee ZG, like this, Coffee ZG contact us, and that stands out a little bit more on Google so people know exactly where they're going. You can also change the description as well. If you leave this blank, it is just going to take the first few lines and the title that you've put in here. I'm happy with that as it is though, so that's all great. I'm using a contact template and I'm gonna make the page visible as soon as I save it. I don't want to make it hidden and I do not want to publish the page on a given date, but you can actually schedule when the page is made visible. I'm happy with it being visible right away. I'm happy with the page, so I'll just click save there. Then to make sure that that contact form is gonna go through to the right email address, you can come down to settings in Shopify, go to general. Then you can see a couple of email options here, store contact email and sender email. So you want the store contact email. So you can change that so when people fill out that form on your contact page, it will send you an email to that address and then you can sort it out from there. If you're happy with that email, just come out of there. But we have one more thing to do, and that is actually a lot of the time, contact pages are not automatically linked in any of your themes in Shopify. So you're gonna have to make it available either at the top or the bottom. You can see we have the About Us page linked right here. So we need to do that with the Contact Us page as well. You can either put it at the top of the site or you can come down and maybe put it in the footer. Most websites have it in the footer, so let's go ahead and do that. Come back to our Shopify dashboard. Then what we need to do is come down to online store and then go to navigation. Once in navigation, you can either put it in the main menu, which is at the top. I wanna put it in the footer menu though, so I'm just gonna click on that to edit it. We can then come down and click add menu item because we wanna add that contact us page. So click on this one and yep, yeah, we're gonna call it contact us like this. Then I'm gonna come down to the link section, click on this once. And we want to find pages because obviously a contact us page is a page and not a product or a collection. So click on pages. We have two pages in our store right now, the about us page, which I called our story and then contact us. Yep, that's the one I wanna link. So I'm gonna click on that one, click add, and that should be added to the footer. Come up here and click save on that. Once that is saved, we can then go back to our site. I'm just gonna refresh this and we should see the contact us page come up at the bottom of the website. I'm gonna go back to the home right now. So this is the home page for the site that I'm setting up. If we scroll all the way down here, we can see that Contact Us has now been added to the footer. So that's really great. Let's click on that to see what it looks like. You can see that the title of the page is right here. The bits that I added are right here. And then that contact form, which looks so professional. And that's gonna be sending you their query to the email address that you've set up with Shopify whenever they send you a message. That is adding a contact us page onto a Shopify store. 
Check out the description for way more Shopify how-tos and tutorials. If the video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.